Hey and welcome to the Half Blood Prince channel and today we're going to be talking about the Born Haber cycle which is basically an extension of Hess's law and we're going to use this to find out this lattice formation enthalpy of sodium chloride so let's get straight to it and so we basically have sodium and chloride in their standard states. You notice that because we only need one mole of both the elements to form a sodium chloride crystal, we're just gonna have Cl2 gas here. Right, so basically we need to convert both of them to their respective gaseous ionic states in order for them to react. And we're gonna start off with sodium. And before we do get the sodium ion, it has to be converted into a gas. And this energy change is called the atomization enthalpy of sodium, which is plus 107 kilojoules per mole, right then. And after that, we're going to convert it by it, I mean sodium, to its um, ionic state. And for that, we need the ionized the first ionization energy of sodium uh, in order for it to release its valence electron and then we'll have sodium in its ionic state it releases the electron here and we still have chlorine gas its diatomic state right and this uh the energy f for the first ionization of sodium is plus 496 kilojoules per mole right and now we need to do the same to chlorine uh, since I've run out of room here I'm just gonna write it there we're gonna uh, convert chlorine to its monoatomic state right and this uh, energy of atomization is uh, 122 yeah 122 kilojoules per mole for chlorine right and now we need to convert chlorine to chloride ions and that's basically it's basically gonna uh, um, take in this electron and that's where the um, the first ion, uh, the first electron affinity of chlorine comes into play, which is 130, 149, sorry, kilojoules per mole. And now we basically have both of them in the respective ionic states, and they can now react to form the NaCl crystal right and we need to find out this energy here which is the lattice formation enthalpy right so basically when the examiner does ask you to find out the lattice formation enthalpy um, uh, the energy the enthalpy of formation rather will be given and in this case it's uh, minus 411 kilojoules per mole because obviously it's an overall it's an exothermic reaction more bonds will be formed than the ones that will have to be broken to form the sodium crystal so that's why it's negative and basically now we just have to add the energies to to know the lattice formation enthalpy. So basically, this entire reaction, uh, this root of the reaction is equals to this root, the direct root um, of the lattice formation enthalpy. So we're gonna equate these energies to each other and basically 107 kilojoule per mole plus 496 
and then you have 122 and then you have plus oops this is negatively charged and then you have the lattice formation enthalpy of uh, sodium chloride and I'll just bring this over to the other side and just have to oops sorry have to subtract all these energies now 496 122 and plus 349 and at the end of it you get minus 787 kilojoules per mole so right then so basically this here is the lattice formation enthalpy and which is um which is which is also included in the enthalpy change of formation and you, it's kind of easier to find it out using the Born-Haber cycle because we break down each singular process for example the ionization energies and the electron affinity so it's kind of easier to notice where exactly it lies and just basically have to rearrange the equation um, and yeah you get the last formation enthalpy so basically the bone harbor cycle isn't that tough you just have to break it down into singular steps uh, the the goal our goal basically is that we need the elements in their gas ionic gaseous states in order for them to react and eventually you get the lattice form formation enthalpy so there you go um that was my take on born harbor cycle and if you guys uh want some other tutorials regarding chemistry or biology physics then let me know in the comment section below all right till next time bye bye